Hey gang, welcome back. FE Review Problem Thermodynamics. Let's go. Okay, so if you have 1.45 kilograms of air, it's held at 7.02 kilopascals and at 35 degrees C. Given that R of air is 287 joules per kilogram Kelvin, what is the volume of the container? All right, see if you can work it. Press pause, raise, set, go. Okay, are you back? Did you push pause? All right, what'd you get? Let's see if we can work it out. Now I can almost guarantee you, it's not often I'm gonna guarantee you, but I can almost guarantee you that this question is gonna be on the FE test. Why is that? Because how did you solve this? Remember, these are questions are designed to be two minutes long, so we've got to go fast. So it's going to be something that's in the book, an equation that's there, something that's easy to remember. You know what? This is air. It's, the, it's an ideal gas. We can use the ideal gas law, can't we? Now, you remember two of those. You remember PV equals NRT, and, and you remember, let's make that a big R. And then you remember PV, oh, that's not even make P's. PV equals MRT, okay? And you just gotta pick which one of those you want. Now, if you pick this one, right, N is gonna be what? It's gonna be in moles, okay? Was anything given in moles here? No, our air was given as a kilograms as a mass. So we're gonna use this guy right here, PV equals MRT. Now, the only thing we need to be careful about here is that our units work out. If, if our units are good, we're gonna be good, okay? So we've got P. So P is equal to 7.02 kilopascals, which I just wanna get that into pascals, which is gonna be 7,020 7, pascals, right? Which is a Newton over meters squared, okay? And then I got my mass. The mass is given over here 1.45 kilograms. And then what? What else do I have? I've got R, R, and R is 287 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And then I've got one more thing, uh, T. Now T, I gotta get rid of that Kelvin over there, right? So this is in centigrade. Remember, change your Celsius over. So that's gonna be 35 plus 273 to get it into Kelvin, right? Which is 308K, okay? Now I need to do is plug that stuff into this equation, and I think we should be there. We should get so now we need to do is plug everything into this equation and solve for V, our volume, right? So we're gonna take these three things, multiply them by together, and then divide it by P, and that should give us our volume, right? So let's go. Let's see, M is 1.45 uh, R times, what's that say, 287 times 308 equals divided by 7,020 equals 18.258, okay? So there you go, do we have that answer? There it is, answer A. Is that what you got? All right, hope this helps. See you on the next one.